And the other thing I wanted to talk about was in respect to Dynamesh. So I'm just going to open up a plane. And I'm just going to sculpt on the surface. So when I do this and I activate Dynamesh, it's basically going to create a hole in your mesh, like so. And a way to fix this is to simply just go back, head on over to your brush, come down to auto masking, and turn back face mask on. Now let me explain why this happens. So let's say you're sculpting on the surface. And if we take a look behind this, you can see that this brush is actually influencing the back of this mesh as well. So in order to prevent that from happening, we turn back face masking on. So let's turn back face masking on. And let's attempt to sculpt. And now if we look behind, it's not influencing the back of this mesh. So this is a problem that you run into while sculpting on thin surfaces and then dynameshing it. Now, let's say you didn't have back face masking on and you've been sculpting and for some reason you've deleted all the on to history as well as you probably didn't notice it until much later and you can't do much about it. So what you can do is once we dynamish and you have this result, just go over this with the inflate brush. So go over the affected region with the inflate brush and dynamish and smooth. Then go over that again with the inflate brush and smooth. So that's one way of basically dealing with this with the inflate brush, smoothing it out, dynamishing and you've now fixed this problem. Another thing to keep in mind is just make sure that you have back face mask on for all your brushes because let me just show you what happens. So now we activated, I mean, let's activate back face mask. Yep, so we've got back face mask on here and when we sculpt, we don't see any kind of influence from this particular brush on the back of this mesh. Actually, it would be better if I demonstrated it on a new mesh. So let's open up a new mesh here and let me sculpt on this. And we don't see any influence. However, if we shift it over to a different brush and try to now sculpt on this surface, we can see that this brush is affecting the back. And so you need to go and turn back face masking on for all the brushes that you use when you're sculpting on a thin surface. So once you activate that, and you basically sculpt on your surface, it doesn't influence the back. So that's how you go about fixing that problem.